hello guys welcome to my channel friends in this video i would like to show you the programming assignment solutions of week 12 in our course programming in java so guys please watch the video until the end without skipping let's go to the course let's go to the first programming assignment in week 12 here we go guys this is about the program for the extended version of advanced calculator with special functions guys see here we have advanced functions like x square 1 by x and square root and alphabets m i n etc etc so you should write the programming code for this first programming assignment so guys i will show you the code guys don't be worried by seeing this large code this is actually the programming solution this this is very big guys don't worry i will give you this in the comment section so you can copy and paste it directly in your programming assignment so i have copied this and going to paste it here i, I have pasted this code successfully now i am going to compile and run it guys i will give this problem problem in the comment section you can copy it from there so guys if you see here the compilation has passed and 2 by 2 public test cases are also passed and status also showing that it is passed and going to submit for private test cases so guys here two private test cases are also passed so let's move on to second programming assignment guys this programming assignment question 2 is to write method appropriate method to print protocol name and also protocol post name so guys here they have given url dot and url dot into printf statements we have to fill in those blanks guys first remove those blanks for two printf statements and we have to write what i show here guys this is little bit funny that before code is too large and this code is too small these two are the methods that we use for getting protocol name and host name i'm going to copy this and paste it here guys one method is for first printf statement and second method is for second printf statement so guys in the first printf statement get protocol method is used and second one for to get host name we'll use get host method so i'm going to compile and run it so here this compilation is passed and also public test cases one by one and status shows it is passed and submit it for private test cases so guys private test case one and, one and only one test case is also passed so let's move on to question number three guys the program is to create a record by taking inputs using scanner class as first name as string last name as string roll number as integer and subject one marks as float subject two marks as float so guys here first i am removing all these comments 
these are just for understanding purpose only so i'm going to give you the code for third question guys this is a simple code to write by watching the video i will zoom for you anyways i'm pasting it here so guys now you can be able to see this code isn't it guys you can see the code here now i am going to unzoom this and compile and run it so guys here the compilation is passed one by one the prep public test case and status also shows it is passed and going to test for private test cases here one and only private test case is also passed so guys let's move on to fourth question fastly in the fourth question the code is given to call the parents parent class starting method and instant method in the array class without creating object of parent class you should write the code so that the program print the contents of static method and instant method of parent class so guys once again i am removing removing these two comment sections and going to paste the code for fourth question guys this is very simple code you can write run it you can write it by seeing the video also i'm pasting it here and i'm going to zoom it for your sake so guys this is the code so now i am unzooming this i'm going to compile and run so guys here the compilation is passed one by one the public test case is also public test is also passed and status also represented that it is passed and test for private test cases so guys here private test case one on one, one test case is also passed so let's move on to fifth and final question programming question of this java week 12 guys here you should write a recursive function as mentioned in the program to print the sum of first n or integer numbers here the recursive function should have the prototype as we mentioned in sum or n of integer so guys i am going to copy this code from notepad guys this is also very simple code I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So guys, I'm zooming this for your clear understanding purpose. I hope you have written this code by passing the video. Now I'm unzooming this. So let's check for whether it's compile or not and run. Guys, here compilation has passed. Two by two public test cases are also passed, and status shows that passed after ignoring presentation error. Guys, ignore ignoring presentation error. Presentation error does not mean an error. So you should see that here the status is just passed enough. So let's go to submit for checking for private test cases are also passed or not. Whether they are passed or not. So guys, here the private test case. There is only one private test case, and it also shows that it is passed. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Guys, if you want to give any suggestions, please comment in the comment section. Do like and share our video to your friends. Keep supporting our channel. Thank you.